Alright, here is a quick tutorial on race render. We'll use this to overlay GPS data onto a GoPro video. So, first step start the program. We'll select this template, actually, this template because it's just got some good gauges already set up. And then input file will be the Excel file from the data logger which is HD track addict for the iPhone which was recorded using a bad elf GPS antenna running at 10 Hertz so let's open that and then of course the GoPro file and there we have it Here's the vehicle trace. Now that is more than we need, so we will cut that down to use only the lap, We can set that up by adjusting the input, and we'll start set the start to finish make it right there so I get the maximum number of laps and there we go now all that is displayed is the actual lap now we don't really need g-force so we'll get rid of that uh, this speed indicator kind of blocks things so let's change it to a C3 one. There we go. We have a lap counter here, works very well, and a lap timer. Now that we've specified the lap, these will work. Now let's see what else can we add. Uh, I know that the time graph can be useful, sort of, in a visual aid sense, sort of way. Let's connect that to the GPS data file and then use it to display altitude. Why not? And we can also let's add a gauge to show, say, GPS accuracy, like we had in the other video. We will connect that to the GPS data file, specify the field of accuracy, and let's see what else do we need to do. Oops, wrong button. Hmm, okay, maybe we'll skip that. Okay, now. The video and the data file are out of sync because the data started recording about two minutes before the GPS, oh, sorry, <laughs> before the camera was switched on. So let's go to a point that we can recognize nice and slow so we can make it more accurate. Oops, a bit past it. That's the corner at the end of the first straight. Now we need to skip the data file forward until it reaches the same point. We can do that by skipping forward five seconds at a time. When the data catches up to the video, we, you will see the red position dot on the, there it is on the lap. Now a little bit further, actually no, let's, one more second, there we go. Alright. That looks pretty good. Okay, now, now that it's synchronized, 
we can actually go back we don't need to display or render the entire video only the actual lap the laps so let's look at our time stamp is 18 seconds right here and then we can go to the end of the lapping session lap 2, lap 3, lap 4 and that's it so we've got four full laps we don't need to record me riding back to the house Okay, I'm just at the start finish point right here. So we will go from 18 to 5. Let's make it 525. Okay, create. Okay, let's test 3. specific time frame 18 